Hello people, I'm Easy from RZ Easy Customizer and I'm back for another video review. This time I have this snail shell GN project Wolf 001. This is a plastic um no um this is a PVC figure and not a plastic model kit despite the size of this box is actually very very small. Um this is the second batch that I got from Uncle Chen workshop. Um, if you guys are looking for something similar like plastic waifu model kit, figure, um, any other third party parts like resin parts or anything, um, I will put the links in the description down below for Uncle Chen workshop, the Facebook page and also the Shopee page. Check them out. The art work of this box is so so nice I really like it um, this is the front view lower part okay you can see so these are the everything that she comes with um, the side and I don't think it's very important alongside with the Kotobukiya Mega Mi device and Bandai figure rice um, Kotobukiya Frame Arms Girl um, Kotobuka Mega Mi device and an Android and also the Wolf 001 so the size comparison here you go um, she is actually part 1 to this is one one over one scale um, the frame up scale is um, the non scale and Bandai one is this one is one four four but actually it's pretty tall the weight of this figure is actually a bit heavier than the plastic model kit because it is fully made from PVC and not um, fully plastic. So first thing first, um, this is what everything that she comes with. So let's start with the blank face. Um, we have the blank face. <coughs> oh. We have a normal face. We have um, a, an angry face, and also the one that she's wearing right now, with the gas mask on. This one is very cool. Um, you guys playing Code Vein? Yeah, this is this design will remind you of Code Vein. Um, all right. Next thing is um, we have dual blades and a gun. This is the same Pichan from Gun Gun Online, except the color. This is a very normal color and not in pink. And we have the katana. Here you go. You guys can see it nice, clearly. Good. Okay, and now um, save this for later. We have an extra arm, but this one has hole for both. And for the hand, we have a grabby hand. <clears throat> Another grabby hand. This one is for the weapons. Set off an open hand um, water slide decal and an extra piece of her chest um, maybe guys asking what the difference between this and that <clears throat> um sh should I should I this thing is much pointy than that one so that's it period okay um let's start reviewing the figure so let's move on to the figure 
So let's start with the how she looks. Front view, side view. Here we go. <coughs> um, this thing is a real cloth. Um, it's a GN Project Zero One written on it, and with the a wolf logo on the right. We have this, I don't know, the scarf maybe, a very long scarf, white one. Um, there's a tiny wire inside so you guys can do it like this. And also, <clears throat> there's a plastic piece all the way up to the front. Yeah, there's a plastic piece, but they didn't top coat it, this thing, unfortunately. So. Yeah, I don't know why. And there's a tiny wire inside. So you guys can do it like this. This thing is very flexible. So this thing is so, so cool. I really like how they designed this thing. <clears throat> so next thing is, um, so before we move to the articulation, the figure, the figure articulation, we should, um, let me show you how she can move in this <coughs> okay okay um, she can move about this far and this far okay yes here there you go um maybe I should pull this out and so I'll just take this off so we can have a full review put this back on <clears throat> since this is a PVC figure so I need to be careful they didn't provide me with extra joints to, in case I snap or break anything I don't, I don't know why this is so tight or Oh, there you go <coughs> so let's check this out how pretty this girl is mm -hmm. so cool right that's why I really like the overall design of this compared to the mega mini device and the frame of skill but but <coughs> let me show you guys the articulation the weakness of this um, figure so let's start with the head she can um, go about this far look up <coughs> about this far um, side to side um, we okay we rotate <coughs> so there's no articulation for the the parts on the head nothing this thing is fixed <coughs> the hand can move up about this far this thing is double joint anyway there's a double joint here and move about this far swivel and <coughs> this joint is very very tight so I it's so tight so I need to move it carefully and slowly just in case I, because if you break something you're gonna cry for that <sighs> okay there you go a very weird looking joint indeed it looks like you no it's it's so weird and the hand can rotate <clears throat> there you go so okay so next is this part she can go about this far and go about this far okay this has a very it a very you know just can move about this far and this far not much <coughs> there you go um 
the legs the legs can go up about this far um, swivel of course and can bend about this far um, yeah there you go and the weakness here comes the weakness the ankle part <clears throat> okay before that I just want to show you guys the difference between the design of this um, the lower part of this thing um, the ankle of course the ankle the difference between the Megami device uh, I mean like oh, same, same goes with Megami device and frame of girl <coughs> For this design, you guys can do it like this, do it like this, pivot like this, like this, and yeah, that's it. So, but <coughs> for this figure, you guys can only do it like this. There you go. You guys can do like this but this far because this thing is blocking the way <coughs> this thing can move up and down and for pivot no pivot this figure is awesome um, the overall design is 10 out of 10 the articulation somehow I only give it 7.5 out of 10 because of the weak ankle joint uh, very tight joints for the arms and they didn't give us any extra joints if you guys break this good luck <laughs> that's all I can say and also they didn't give us uh, an action base for this figure unlike uh, Max Factory Figma we have every single action base for every figure but this one they didn't give us so hopefully the next uh, design that will come out next year 2020 they will improve their product they will fix the joints for the ankle and give us at least extra joints and yeah for better and nice looking design maybe much cooler than this one so that's all my review I hope you guys like this video um, I will keep improving on reviewing stuff in the future this is the you know a begin beginner my uh, my first video no I mean like my first year of making video so that's all for today thank you very much for watching see you guys next time bye bye